amazing people here watching thank you for watching me and watching this video i hope it um it interests you no so for today's video it's about personal pronouns in german and i'll translate it in english okay are you ready so let's start first is Ish, ish, ish. It's I in English. I, I, I. Ish liebe dich. So this has I love you. That means I love you. So ish is I. Yeah. Next is. Moment. Where is it? Okay, this one. Do, do heist or do means you, yeah, do, do be so schön, you are so beautiful, so do, do is you, singular, because later I'm gonna teach you the plur plural form of do. The next one is, I mean, I mean R because there are three R, C, and S. So that means R is he, C is she, and S is it. So R, he, C, she, and S is it. So look at the spelling. Singular, we're still in singular form, no? R, C, S. Okay, next. Next one is... Okay. This is the plural form of you. Er. Er, no? When it's... um, When the subject is more than one and you're not included. So... You might use air. So look, I H R U plural. So next time, so the next video, I'm gonna give you some um, examples of how we must use this personal pronoun. So from here, or for this video, only the personal pronouns. Okay, air. So plural form of you. So, the difference between do and er, do is you singular and er is you plural, okay? So, the next one is here. We love this. Where? So, this is we. We. Where is we? So, maybe you wonder why I don't really... Um, pronounce the r the r at the last um normally it's ver no when we're not from germany then we're gonna read this as ver but here in germany they pronounce it as ver so parang nawala yung er Halik, gaya nitong er gaya nitong er so they they pronounce this as er parang nawala yung er sa last ng kanilang ano um Parang na umit. They omitted the letter R when they say something. When the R is at the last of the word, then it's like omitted. But of course, you must write the correct spelling. So, er, on wer. So, er is the plural form of you. On wer is we. We. So, meaning it's um, plural. No? Wer is we. Okay. Next one. It's the last one. C. So, Z, that is plural form of you again. And it's referring to um, many people, so plural. But it also stands as formal form of, halimbawa, um, um, halimbawa professor, or yung mga matataas yung rank, ginagamit nila itong C. At tapos, hindi mo pakilalang isang talimpa. Nagtatanong ka ng pangalan. The Heisen C. 
uh, parang gano'n siya. V hyphen C, nagtatanong ko kung ano yung pangalan niya. V hyphen C, ginagamit mo tong C. Big C, ha? Big, big S, I mean, big S. Tapos, pag halimbawa, kilala mo na siya. So, kaya nagamit mo na ang do. V highs, do. Or parang, parang, hindi mo siya kilala, pero parang kaidaran kayo. So, kung ginagamit mo ang do. V highs, do. Nagtatanong ka ng pangalan. V highs, do. Pero, pag hindi mo siya kilala, at saka, stranger pa kayo, tapos mataas yung edad niya, parang tagalang-galang. So, V highs and C. V highs and C. Nagtatanong ka ng pangalan. So, yun lang, guys. Thank you for watching and maybe next time I'll gonna try to make a video, some examples of how this personal pronouns may use in a sentence. Guys, I'd like you to know that I'm not really perfect in German but I'm trying my best to maybe um, make some contents about this because I'm living here in Germany for 8 years. No, maybe um, in October. I mean September 27 or 28. Yeah. I'm gonna be eight years here in Germany. And I don't make content about here, no? Wala akong content about Germany. Siguro mga travel travel lang. So, um, you have to stay updated kung gusto nyo pong matuto ng mga language about German. Yan lang mga kaya ko, okay? So, thank you for watching, guys. And see you in my next vlog. Babush!